As Hispanic Heritage Month draws to a close on the 15th of this month, one man is working toward a more aggressive push for immigration reform. CBS News' Skylar Henry has more on these expansive efforts. Thousands in Washington say creating better pathways to citizenship for millions of immigrants in the U.S. should be on the top of lawmakers' priority lists. Perhaps no one more than Ricardo Ortiz, a 30-year-old from Oaxaca in southwest Mexico, who moved to the States two years ago. Ortiz joined CASA, the largest grassroots immigrant advocacy organization in the Mid-Atlantic. For him, it's personal. He grew up attending marches alongside his mother in their village. A lot of them are here because they don't have opportunities in their country. They want to live in a better place for their children, for, the, for them, and also for, for their communities. As debate over reform heats up, Ortiz and Casa are regularly in D.C. When he isn't, he canvasses the streets of Baltimore, Maryland, and the surrounding suburbs, making connections with the city's growing Latino population. In your time in Baltimore and since you started with Casa, what have you learned? I learned a lot of things. I think the principle is I learned about my rights, about the rights of the immigrant community, but also how to speak English. Outreach is another pillar for CASA, providing job opportunities, rental assistance, and even COVID vaccine information for thousands. Hola, Enrique. ¿Cómo está? And Ortiz is there, organizing food distribution sites for 250 people a week. Excuse me, how to the Hispanic community in general? It doesn't matter not only for Hispanics, it's a help for the um, all kind of different nationality. But it's shoring up permanent status for millions that's at Ortiz's core. We work so hard for this beautiful country and they want just living their lives and live uh, a, a good life. A good life only made better with comprehensive legislation, Ortiz says, for immigrants and their families. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Baltimore, Maryland.